Hey friends, welcome back again. Today in this session, we will solve this equation for many solutions of x. Here we will solve for the all possible values of x. So here we have equation x power by 6 minus 64 that is equal to 0. Now x power by 6, we can write it as x square and whole is powered by 3. So it will be x power by 6 minus 64, we can write 4 cube, right? It is 4 cube and that is equal to 0. Now here we have two cubes in between negative sign. So this expression we can write a cube minus b cube, right? a cube minus b cube. And here we'll use a well-known identity that is a cube minus b cube is a minus b multiplied by a square plus ab plus b square, right? Here a is our x square, which is a and b is 4. So we have a cube minus b cube. Similarly, we can write this expression as a minus b first, so it is x square minus 4 in one bracket. In another bracket, it is a square means x square, x square and its whole square plus ab. a means x square multiplied by 4 plus b square means 4 square. So it is 4 square and that is equal to 0. Now let's simplify it and we'll write this expression as it is. It is x square minus 4 multiplied by here it is x power by 4. So x square and its whole square will be x power by 4 plus here it will be 4x square. So it is 4x square plus 4 square is 16 and that is equal to 0. Now look at carefully here multiplication of two factors is 0. So now we can write it as one factor that is x square minus 4 is equal to 0 or we can write it as x power by 4 plus it is 4x square 4x square plus 16 that is equal to 0. Now from this equation we will take 4 in the right hand side so it will be positive 4. Now we can write this expression as x square that is equal to 4. Now the value of x will be plus minus square root 4 will be 2. Now here we have calculated two values of x that is plus minus 2. Now we will solve this equation and we will solve for another values of x. Now look at here. We can write this expression that is x power by 4 plus 4x square plus 16 that is equal to 0. Now we let x square, we let x square that is equal to n. Now this equation we can write it as x square and its square plus 4x square plus 16 that is equal to 0. Now in place of x square we write n. So it will be n square plus 4n plus 16 that is equal to 0. Now it is in the form of standard quadratic equation. Now from here we can calculate the value of n. So the value of n will be minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac, right? And that is divided by 2a. Now in this equation, a is our 1. So here it is 1. So a is equal to 1. And the value of b will be, here b is plus 4. And value of c is 16, right? Now we'll apply this formula for calculating the value of n. Now we'll calculate it here. So n will be minus b. Minus b means minus 4, right? Plus minus square root. b square means 4 square. And minus 4 ac. 4 times a means 1 and c means 16. So it is 4 ac and whole term is divided by 2a. So 2a is 2 multiplied by 1. So it is 2 multiplied by 1. Now we'll simplify it. Now it is negative 4 plus minus square root 4 square is 16 minus 4 times 16 is 64 divided by 2. 2 multiplied 1 is 2. Now again we'll write negative 4 plus minus square root. Now here 16 minus 64 and 64 is bigger and we have negative sign. So it will be negative 48, right? And that is divided by 2. Now in the next, it is negative 4 plus minus and here we have negative 48. So we we'll write it as square root 48 multiplied by square root negative 1, right? And that is all is divided by 2. Again, we can write it as negative 4 plus minus square root 48. We can write square root 16 multiplied by square root 3. And we have multiplied by negative square root 1. So negative square root 1 is iota and whole term is divided by 2. Now let's write it here. So it is negative 4 
plus minus square root 16 is 4 and we have square root 3 and iota and whole term is divided by 2 and this is the value of n and now we will separately divide by 2 so we can write as negative 4 divided by 2 plus minus 4 square root 3 iota divided by 2 now we will cancel it by 2 so it is 2 2 is a 4 so it is 2 and here again 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 so it is negative 2 negative 2 plus minus 2 square root 3 iota and this is we have calculated the value of n and we will have to calculate the value of x so we will replace n by x square so it is x square value is negative 2 plus minus 2 square root 3 iota now for the value of x we will take square root both the sides so the value of x will be plus minus square root here we have negative 2 plus minus 2 square root 3 iota now here we have calculated 4 roots of x so 4 values of x from here and we have calculated 2 values of x from here so total we have calculated 6 values of x so these are the values of x this is our answer to this problem so i hope you have enjoyed the video